Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Where in the World is a W5 Story Session. Just going to get myself situated here so I am side by side. So, guys, remember, I, I do these every Monday at 1 o'clock, statutory holiday or not, to be able to find out about people using the simple five questions of who, what, where, when, and why. So, without further ado, who are you? My name is Bonnie Giesbrecht. And what are some who hats that you wear in this world? Uh, well, my first who hat, I guess, would be um, a mom. I have two sons and uh, two stepdaughters. And I am a grandma. Uh, I just had my first um, baby granddaughter this year in December. Congratulations. Or this last year in December. And so she's eight months old and the joy of my life. Um, I'm a wife to a wonderful husband um, whose name is Menno. I, in the past, have been a teacher. I retired from teaching when, in about seven years ago. Um, I retired early and um, started pursuing my fifth hat, which is uh, artist. And so I taught art for many years, and now I'm teaching myself, <laughs> spending time perfecting my skills. That's beautiful. So we're going to unpack two of those. And the two that come top of mind right now is, of course, let's go down the grandma path because I am a, a grandma to um, four stepchildren um, as well. So as a grandma, what are some of the things that you love to do as a grandma? Well, like most grandmas, just FaceTime with the kids, mm. you know, like if I can spend time with them. Um, my husband has uh, four grandchildren who are very, very important to me and, and who I love very much. Um, Jaden, Noah, Emma, and Jacob. And uh, the two older ones are, are adults and the two younger ones of that group are almost adults. My, my granddaughter graduated this year. And then uh, on my side, there's this brand new baby girl. And so just, yeah, spending time with them. Um, when the kids were littler, I would color with them. That's my artist teacher self. Um, you know, color with them, play games with them, read with them, talk with them, encourage them, counsel, do all those things, you know. Beautiful. So, so it sounds like you're stepping into a, a new career at that last who had as an artist. So let's, let's mm -hmm. unpack that one. What do you do in, uh, in that? Or I guess the so, proper word is what's your medium that yeah. you use? I uh, am a painter, although from the time I was really young, I've loved all artistic mediums. Um, really love color and how color changes our mood and inspires mm. us. And I mean, just how it physically changes your body. And so uh, I've always really loved exploring color. And so painting was a natural, natural sort of expression of that. And um, I tried all of the painting mediums, but I typically, um, Right now, most currently, I'm painting in acrylics, but I've mm -hmm. done a lot of alcohol ink. Um, you know, the stuff that's in a Sharpie? Well, that yeah. that permanent ink, it, you can buy it in bottles, and so I paint with that as well. But most recently, I've been doing uh, acrylic painting. Um, and the subject matter of my paintings uh, is typically landscapes, flowers, sort of natural things. Um, I, I love landscapes. I love the beauty of nature. Um, mm -hmm. Painting makes me feel, I guess this is my why, is it makes me feel connected to, to God, the, the, mm. the divine in the world and the beauty that is created all around me. And if I can capture some small piece of it, it reminds me that God is in control. God is amazing. And so for me, um, yeah, I really just love trying to capture even a small piece of that beauty and share it with other people who might want to put it on their wall. And sometimes I also paint in abstracts um, mm -hmm. just because I'm exploring the color and I love how color works with other colors and the magic that happens when you place one color beside another color. And some of my floral paintings, I use mixed media. So I might introduce paper or ribbon or other oh, objects into the, into the canvas or painting. And so, yeah, I really love doing that. Well, you're talking to someone who, um, if we were doing this from my home, my home is full of art. And I love being the steward of others' creativity because I truly believe 
we don't own anything in this world except our attitude and, and the way we go about being a great person in this life. So yeah. I absolutely ad adore art and there's a little bit here in my office. So where are you located and where can people find out about your, your artwork, huh, Bonnie? I'm currently located in Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada. And um, I, but I was living uh, two and a half years ago in Saskatoon. And okay. I have a small gallery in Saskatoon in um, Elevate Cowork Space in Saskatoon. And the gallery is called Paint Dog, Paint Dog Gallery. I have a mini schnauzer. So that's another hat I wear as a schnauzer mom. And uh, so he likes to lay beside me when I'm painting. And so he's my paint dog. And so we named our gallery Paint Dog. My husband also likes to paint. And so some of his work's in there. And in Paint Dog at paintdog.ca, we like to um, online host other uh, emerging artists. Um, I particularly love supporting women in art. And mm. so at Paint Dog, you'll see a number of women artists there. Most of them local to Saskatchewan, Saskatoon. Okay. Um, and I'm also um, online. So you can find me at Bonnie Giesbrecht Art, both on Facebook and on Instagram. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm just working here. I have a studio in my home and I'm very blessed to be able to paint all day if I want to or do what I do and yeah. Beautiful. So when did you decide when you retired to decide that this is what's going to be the next chapter? Well, I, I mean, that's all every artist's dream. Um, but I really love children too. And so I felt called to teach art. Mm -hmm. And so I did that for 27 years. And, but the problem with teaching and being an artist is the same one as teaching and being a writer. Mm. You spend so much time doing it for others and with others that you don't get a whole lot of time to do your own. Um, English teachers typically spend hours and hours marking art teachers, maybe not marking, but prepping, cleaning up, getting supplies, doing that kind of thing. And so, although it was an absolute joy and privilege to be able to share that love of art with children, um, I taught middle school through my career. It, it was amazing, but you don't get a lot of time to do your own. And mm. so as I retired and, and, um, traveled a bit, I mean, it's easy to transport a watercolor brush or, a you know, and a, and a water paper pad and do that kind of stuff. And then, um, people started noticing the work and saying, Oh, that's beautiful. Do you, do you sell? Can I buy it? And I started doing a few shows, um, like art shows, art walks, that kind of thing. And just loved the opportunity to interact with people and get like really specific and immediate feedback about the work. Mm. And so I really started enjoying that and wanted to continue to have the opportunity, not just to create for myself, but to share that with you or others or like whoever would, would be interested in that kind of thing. And um, so as I painted more and started thinking about, oh, you know, hey, I have a stack of this stuff piling up. Maybe it's time to start selling it. So started to be more intentional about marketing the 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 work. And I'm very artsy fartsy. I like the technical stuff of you know being on Instagram or you know marketing. I'm that business stuff is not my forte. So it's been a real learning curve. Um, and definitely something I'm still learning, but I'm enjoying the challenge, um, enjoying thinking about art in a different way and um, working with other people to support them and, and solve problems in their decor, decorating, how are they going to um, display this work and that kind of thing. Just, um, it's, it's kind of evolved over time. That, that's so beautiful. And I love your why. You, you mentioned that right off of the bat as being that you're, it's, it's honoring God and, and knowing that he is here and he's, he's given you this incredible gift to be able to share with the world. So really quickly to wrap this up, what's your like big why? If you can kind of in one great sentence, what would you say your why in life? I think is? you just said it is to honor God in the talents that he's given me. Um, I mean, right from the Old Testament, a lot of artists really feel like, oh, I'm, you had get imposter syndrome. Oh, I'm not good enough, mm. like whatever. Um, and I just believe that God didn't ask me 
to be perfect, he asked me to say yes. So okay. as I progress, as I, as I paint, I get better. As I invite the Holy Spirit to work with me and, and um, honor that process, the work comes. And sometimes even I am so surprised what evolves out of the painting. And um, yeah, so my big why is to honor God in all that I do. That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Bonnie, for sharing your, your W5 story. Just so I'm, I just so feel it's a tiny little blip on your whole story of your life that, and there's still so much story left to tell in this world uh, with art. Uh, I just simply adore, adore artists. I adore creativity so much. It's, it's the gifts that we've, we've been given. We've been given this palette uh, called earth for us to continue to create um, with our greatness to be able to change the world to make it a better place so mm -hmm. thank you once again thank you so much uh, you will uh, tune in again next monday at one o'clock i have uh, another guest i made a mistake last week i thought it was the mortgage broker this week it is going to be the mortgage broker next monday at one o'clock with a unique connection to me and it doesn't involve a mortgage. So you'll want to tune in uh, next Monday at one o'clock to find out what that story is all about. Thank you everybody for tuning in on a weekly basis. I so appreciate you. Bye-bye everybody.